After three rainy, wet La Nina Christmases, it looks like Australia might finally be in for a scorching El Nino summer. But what is that? And why does it have the potential to be so devastatingly dangerous? So one really important factor for determining the weather in the Southern Hemisphere summer and the Northern Hemisphere winter is the strength of the easterly trade winds across the Pacific. When the trade winds are strong, they blow the warm water towards Southeast Asia and Australia, creating more evaporation, which means more rain. Over on the Americas West Coast, colder water from deeper in the ocean is now able to surface, making conditions drier. This is known as La Nina, the girl, and it's what we've had for the last three years. But what happens when the dial tips the other way and the trade winds are weak? We get the opposite, the boy, El Nino. This means warmer waters closer to the Americas, bringing wet conditions. And colder water over here means things start to dry out. And the United States Weather Bureau reckons there's a 62% chance we'll get one this year. But because this hits during the Australian summer, the lack of clouds and rain has the potential to massively amplify the scorching heat wave most of the continent already experiences. Throw in the effects of human-made global heating and you've got the potential for some seriously brutal bushfires. For reference, the Black Summer bushfires, one of the most devastating bushfire seasons ever, was during a neutral year. In fairness, that came after a long stretch of drought and we're coming off the back of three wet years. But the thing about three wet years is that it also means a massive amount of underbrush growth. So really the question is, will this El Nino bring dry enough conditions to parch that plant life before the peak of the summer heat wave? Because if so, it will transform into a colossal amount of ground fuel to feed and intensify potential bushfires. The most up-to-date research we have suggests that this will really depend on where the warm and cold water ends up. If it's a strong El Nino with really weak trade winds, that might actually be good for us. With the warm water so far east, the cold patches are dragged away from our coast and our cloud formations only moderately reduced. But if a weaker El Nino with stronger trade winds allows the warm water to make it to the central Pacific, well, then it could mean a truly brutal bushfire season for Australia. Then again, there's always a chance it won't happen at all. But still, it's probably worth prepping for a potentially catastrophic bushfire season. 